Hey, Sonny here. Today I want to show you how to play a song called Sunset Superman by Dio uh, from the album Dream Evil uh, featuring Craig Goldie on guitar. Um, before we start, let's talk about the uh, scale. The song is mainly in uh, it's a strange uh, key. is a G-sharp minor. Uh, G-sharp minor is, this, is, this, is the, the key. And uh, I'll show you what the scale is. We'll start from the low E string. Is four six seven. A string is four six seven again. Now the normal shape on the D string will be four and six, and three four six on the G string. Four five seven on the B string, and then uh, and then uh, is uh, four six seven on the E string. I'm just going back to the fourth note on the E because that's the G sharp note. So now that's the normal pattern that you would learn, but I want to show you what a three finger pattern would be like. Exactly the same thing we just did, but using three notes per string. So the first two is the same, doesn't change. It's uh, four six seven on the E string, four six seven on the A. Now, once you get to the D string, uh, instead of playing four and six, you go four, six, and eight. Okay. Uh, the eighth fret on the D string. That's basically the third fret on the G string. That's A sharp note. So, so that's what you're doing. And then on the G string, you go four, six, and eight again. Okay. And on the B string you go five, seven, and nine. And after that is uh, is six, seven, and nine. And I'll just play the root note again after that. Which is the ninth fret on the B string. So again, the whole thing. Four six seven. Four six seven on the A string. Four six eight. D string, 4, 6, 8 on the G string, shift up, half step, 5, 7, 9 on the B string, and then 6, 7, 9 on the B, uh, E string, and then it's back on the 9th fret on the uh, B string, root note. Okay, the intro of the song, the main riff goes like this. Okay, so uh, the chords are it's all power chord. Uh, the first power chord is a D sharp power chord at six position. So you got A six, and then you have D eight and G eight, and you have the E power chord, which is half step up. It's the same same shape, uh, and then you go, and then you have the C sharp power chord. If you notice that those three chords I just did is part of the C, uh, G sharp minor scale I show you. That's basically the fourth note of the G sharp minor, the fifth note of G sharp minor, and the minor sixth of G sharp minor. So those are the three main chords of the riff. Uh, and the pattern goes like this. The first part is I play the uh, I don't play the full chord. I play the just the eighth fret on the uh, D and G string, but I left my index index finger on the A string to melt the string. So you play those two notes, and you gotta go down, up, down. So and you play the ninth fret of uh, E string. I'm sorry, ninth fret on the uh, D and G. 
and then uh, and you mill tarth, and you play uh, sixth fret of D and D and G, and then down up down, and then back to eighth fret of D and G, twice again. And you mute twice, and you do that again on the uh, eighth fret of D and G, down up down, and then uh, ninth fret of D and G, mute twice, and then sixth fret of D and G, and then you go and you play the single note pattern. Uh, you two go uh, two, two one on the A string, four on the E, two one again on the A, and then four and two on the E. On the, when I hit the second fret on the E string, I use my index finger instead. The reason why because you want to have time to shift up your fingers ready to play again on the main riff. So, so that's why I use the index finger. So your fingers will be ready to move up and play that main riff again. Play slowly one more time. You do that again. Second time go. Second time you go two and four on the E. And then one, two, one on the E string. And four and two on the E again. And you're back to the river. Now on, on the ending of the uh, uh, the intro, you play the open E power chord. Just open E string and second fret of A, and then play F sharp power chord. That's uh, that's E two and A four. And then you go uh, two and second and first fret on the A string, and then four and two on the B E. And finish on the uh, G sharp power chord, and and the, that's uh, it's the same shape we just showed you on the F sharp. We just move up two steps. So. Next part. So what I'm playing is I play uh, I play the four uh, four fret of D and G using my index finger four fret on D and G and then go to six fret of A and D A and D string with my ring finger and my pinky. Use my index finger and play four fret on the A and D and play it again on the A and D four fret and then uh, four fret of D and G. And then spawn the uh, G sharp power chord again. So the whole thing goes like this so far. So we're gonna sing and start the night of the thousand eyes. Uh, the verse starts, and it goes to just the chord. That 
the first fret of D string. And this is D sharp, I'm sorry, D sharp chord. Power chord. And you got third fret on the G. And you use your pinky on the fourth fret on the B string. So we're going to and we move up half step doing the same thing, same same chord shape. So that's an E chord. Just play this position. <coughs> uh, after he plays that, it goes. Uh, uh, what I'm playing is there. I, it's still an E chord, but I'm doing an inversion of E. So I'm doing um, uh, D6, G4, and B5. So go. You lift up your middle finger, and you play this. Uh, basically, you, the chord you're playing is D6 and fourth fret of G and B together, and then you put your pinky on the four, uh, sixth fret of G string. So now you're playing D6, G6, and B4, and then you lift up your pinky again. So, Back to G sharp minor again. G sharp power chord. D sharp power chord. E. Next part. What I'm playing there is 4th fret of G and B. I'm sorry, D and G. And they lift up your middle finger and you're playing uh, D4 and G3. And they use your ring finger and pinky to play uh, D6 and G6. And they lift up your pinky, you'll play uh, D6 and G4. And back to uh, this one. Uh, you're playing a D4 and G4 again. Lift up your ring finger. Uh, D4 and G3. And then after that, you play this. So I'm just, I play the E chord. There's sharp power chord. And play single note on the fourth fret on the E string. Second fret on the A. And after that, you play this. So what I'm doing is I play uh, D2 and G4 together three times, and then you stretch out. You move your index finger down one half fret, move your pinky stays on the fourth fret of G. So, so that's like a four notes right there. One, two, three, four. So I play play the four note. The next four note is the same chord we just did twice, and then fourth fret on the A string twice. So, so far with this. You gotta play continuously. But it's easier to break it down in four looks in the group. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next one. One, two, three, four. So you got four, one, two, one on the A string. And then two, one on the A. And then four and two on the uh, E string. So, so the whole thing was like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So I'm, the last part is uh, again is A two A string on two and one, and E string and four and two. All right. So the whole chorus goes like the verse goes like this.
so the chorus, is, uh, it's kind of like a smoke on a wall kind of thing. So like you're playing the two notes of the power chord. So you start from the uh, fourth fret of G, uh, A and D, and then fourth fret of sixth fret of A and D, and then fourth fret of D and G, back to sixth fret of A and D, and then you play the bass note low low palm mute on the fourth fret of low E string twice. And back to sixth fret of D and G. So next part, same thing. After palm mute on the twice on the fourth fret, you go to sixth fret of D and G. And you do the same thing again. And you stop right here, you repeat that again. This is part of the sunset, Superman, sunset, Superman. And back to the core, uh, back to the uh, beginning again, verse one, main riff. Now the second time you play this, you got it's a little different. You go, you play uh, to end this part, the second intro. You have to play a power chord of D sharp. E power chord, B power chord in the second position. And you do the same, the, the single note pattern. And, and, and back to the verse again. C, C sharp minor, power chord. Same thing again. D sharp, E power chord. E, e, e inversion. G sharp power chord again, D sharp, E, it goes in the whole motion again. Back to the chorus again. Now this time the chorus plays a little longer. So he does that three times. He does that three times before he goes, finish up with the Sunset Superman, Sunset Superman. And they slide down and just the drum goes in on. This is the fun part. And then the, just the drums and the bass. It does a little thing right here. He used a pick and he kind of picks on the low E string. Like a slide on the low E string. But just like that, kind of pick it up that way. But he has delay on, so when you pick it, you can echo, bow, bow, like that. So if you delay on, you can do it. You stop, and you can hear it bounce back. Uh, I'm not using delay right now, so I can't get that cool effect, but that's how you do it. And then it goes through the uh, uh, solo. <laughs> 